the Fremantle side of the equation. Matt DeBoer is with us uh, on AFL 360. Matt, welcome aboard. Hi, guys. How are you going? Good. What's it like in Perth at the moment? Uh, is there a great vibe around this? Yeah, there's a pretty big buzz about town, actually. Um, we had an open training session yesterday, and there was a, there was a fair turnout, which... Uh, we haven't been used to all year, but it's, uh, it's quite nice. So tell me, has, has all of Western Australia got behind this, Matt, or do the allegiances still hold with Eagles and Dockers? Yeah, well, my housemate's an Eagles supporter, and he's definitely on board, so I'm not sure if his membership will be revoked because of that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, there's definitely, you know, it's good for WA football, and uh, there's definitely a buzz about town, but uh, as far as converting Eagles supporters, uh, I'm not sure how we're going. What did you do on the week off, Matty? No, I trained pretty pretty solidly actually. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't a week off at all. You know, we had a strong focus. Um, you know, to basically recover first and foremost, but then review the game solidly and uh, and look forward to this week. Simple question: Do you have practice matches or do you have sort of game simulation? Yeah, so part of our training, we always have you know game simulation and uh, practice practice various parts of, of our game plan, which we uh, implemented last Thursday and, and Saturday. I'll ask a couple of questions about yourself first. How many games have you played now? Um, currently sitting on 99. So, There's a milestone uh, coming up, Robbo. That was a, that was a trick question, <laughs> Matty, for Jared, <laughs> and you bloody stuffed it. <laughs> I was actually uh, fortunate enough to make my debut on uh, Pavs 200th, and uh, my 50th game was Pavs 250th, so I've been overshadowed every time. <laughs> He's a selfish bugger, isn't he? <laughs> that public? Yeah, I keep telling him that. Hey, uh, yeah, your last two years, your last 40 games, compared to your first 60, I reckon your first 35, 40, you're wondering what's going on and you're trying to get your fitness levels to a level. Under Harvey, I reckon you started to show that you are a senior footballer. Under Ross Lyon, what has he been able to do for you? Yeah, I think Ross has been great in just sort of clarifying my role a little bit more and, and showing me what I can bring to the side and and fit me into the the team structure and I've taken a lot of confidence out of that um, and also from Peter Sumich who's been really great for my development. Well, you, uh, Ross likes a certain kind of play. We were just watching highlights of you running in and kicking goals but no disrespect, I don't see those highlights in you. When I watch you play, Matty, I see a guy head over the ball, jumping back into packs, working really hard, linking up through the midfield. You get some jobs occasionally. Are you one of those guys who say, right, I'll get it down to... I'll get it down the floors to kick goals. My job is just to fight, fight, fight. Yeah, I think so. that's what it's sort of come to be, and, and I'm just happy to, to be in this side. So if that's what I've got to do to scrap and, and to uh, chase and tackle, then and that's what I'm going to do because uh, being a part of this team, you know, just been, it's been really great over the, especially over these last two years, and, and hopefully for more to come. When you play against Sydney, do you have a, a defined role, a regular role, Matt, someone that you go to? Uh, not traditionally, but uh, we'll have to do our um, due diligence over the next couple of days and um, identify a few people that will probably, you know, get a bit closer attention. And we've got our main training session tomorrow, and then we'll go from there. How many run with roles have you had this year compared to just out and out performing? Um, only, only a few, and here and there, and there might be a quarter at a time when someone might be getting off the chain, and uh, and that's the role that I know I've got to play and, and got to have in my mindset going into each game. That's an interesting you say that, that, you know, mostly when you look at a run with player like a Crowley, they get the guy for the majority of the game. Well, they didn't at Geelong. I know Crowley went to Steve Johnson just on quarter time. So that's something, I, is that new to Fremantle or new to footy that, right, uh, Ross will say to you, right, Matty, you can go and play the game, but you've got to be ready to be called on because if Daniel Hanbury's having eight, eight touches in five minutes in the second quarter, I, I need you to be go straight to him and, and lock down. Yeah, well, our game plan allows for, um, you know, everyone needs to play their sort of role in the team, you know, in the chain, but if, you know, from the opposition, if someone's clearly, you know, getting off getting off the chain as it was, then, you know, there might be need for a player to go to them for that interim to try and uh, negate their effect. Matt, good luck for it. Uh, I know you'll be more excited than most, but everyone's looking forward to it. Thanks, guys. Well, cheers. Matt DeBoer with us on AFL 360. He's tough, isn't he? Yes. Are you watching him play? Yeah. Oh, yep. no, you've been challenged to come up with a case for the Swans as to how it's possible. Have you been able to do it? Not easy. <laughs> Not easy, to be honest with you. Look, whichever way you go, you always come back to the fact that they are the Swans and, the, and that you just can't say they can't do it. For whatever reason, you think that their leaders will find a way. They, they know that they're tough enough. They know that their game's the same as Frio's. It really is. They're both playing the same game against each other. 
It's just a matter of who can do it uh, hard enough for long enough, and that's their motto, harder for longer. So everything to me says this would be the best win the Swans have had. Forget that they've won flags, individual games. This would be the best individual game win that they have ever had if they could go over there against the odds and steal this one. Just briefly. This could be a very low-scoring game <laughs> if the Swans are going to win. And we all talk, we talked about it before, but I think uh, Freo got too, many, too much cattle and too much too many weapons. They just hurt them everywhere, and, they, and their ruckman is just the best in the competition at the moment.